about the decision and how the action really reached the communities is another thing. Because sometimes there are discussions going on in the higher international level, national level, but the communities are left out. They are responsible for up to um, 80 percent of our food production globally so that is incredible yet they own 10 percent less than 10 percent of the land globally so basically that means that they just they have so so many limited rights on how they can farm how they can produce food and then when we have impacts from climate change they're the ones that have the least say over how we can respond Women are still less than 30% represented at these high level negotiations, less than 25% when we're looking at the really high level negotiations. You know, we can say, oh, oh, it's a shame that women aren't there, but unless we're really deliberately helping women and supporting them and saying this, this matters and we need women there, they make up 50% of the population, they need to be represented, then it, it's just gonna keep going. We are living in a small island, smaller than the continent, where are most of the big countries that have big plants that contribute to the impact. Sometimes uh, this decision I am affected by people's interests, right? But listening to those that have greater impact is really important. And, and I think that those decision makers should consider the voices of uh, indigenous people living and depending on the natural environment. Because like for, like for Solomon Island people, they, most of the, most of the uh, population are living in rural areas and they live a subsistence lifestyle where they depend on the sea and the forest for the daily survival. I think that we need not only, you know, sound science and, and technology to help us adapt to our changing climate, but we also need a moral shift and a moral consciousness that I think indigenous values and culture is kind of the balm to ways of being that have been really devastating our planet and, and all of the species on this planet. We need indigenous people and frontline communities to be at the decision-making table not only in the COP UN setting, but also within their own national governments. 